nutrition, um, I like to mention two things. What we eat and how much we eat. Human body was evol has evolved based on eat not hungry, not eat to full. There's a lot of evidence from research. If you only eat 8%, what you need is eat to not hungry, you are much healthier, which, in, which apply to physical health as well as mental health. Should all people know that you should eat big breakfast, you eat very good lunch, just smaller a dinner. Uh, if you go, if you had a habit, eat a, enjoy your big dinner, at least you eat, finish your dinner at least two hours before you go to bed. So what you eat is going to burn instead of uh, a stored in, uh, in your body. So, and then also what to eat. I don't think we should singly eliminate and point the finger to any kind of food as a bad food or point it, uh, fingers to any food as super food. For me, they are not existent. So eat as much variety as you can, a moderate amount. Because what, whatever we eat is going to be digested, breaking into the little building blocks which we need to keep our you know, body going, our mind going. For example, I have done that, the, the recent studies, and lots of people have very opinionized about dairy fat, the green milk instead of uh, full cream blue milk. Uh, probably you know, there's a quite simple example. I have done very uh, recent studies to test it to dairy cream on aging process, a change of aging biology, also tested memory function. And what we found, the supplementation of dairy cream is beneficial. It's beneficial. Therefore, don't fussy about how much creamy your milk if you drink.